everybody. Welcome to Sporkle Live on YouTube. I'm going to be your host tonight, Reed Rockwell, coming at you right from Toledo, Ohio. So welcome. I appreciate everybody that's here tonight from everywhere from Ohio, Michigan, Texas, Florida, United Kingdom, wherever you're from. We appreciate you guys being here tonight. We're going to have some fun playing some virtual trivia. We'll start moving ahead here, guys. We'll start getting things moving for you. Uh, we're excited to bring some sport alive your way. Uh, let's go to the winner from last night. Your winners are, congratulations to Shim Sham and Slow Cheetah. Wow, a Slow Cheetah. Everything, every time I think of a cheetah, I think of Chester cheetah and I think of Cheetos and then I get hungry. So congratulations guys. This is spoke alive, but we also have a trivia family with stump trivia quiz and opinionation all online. If you guys want to play some trivia with a host, go to sporkle.com slash virtual. You guys can sign up for some games, $5 per device. We would love to have you guys come and join us. Spork alive stump and opinionation so please come on and sign up we have games all the time guys i'm going to be hosting a game this wednesday this friday night come sign up guys we'll love to see you sporkle party is an app it's absolutely free if you don't want to go to a game uh at a local bar eventually hopefully uh you guys don't want to spend five bucks to have a a uh, trivia host uh play trivia with you on zoom go to sporkle party download it for free download on ios and android it's absolutely free you'll be the host you can play with family and friends at home. It's a good time. So download that app. It's free. So let's get into it. Let's get into this game, guys. This is how it's going to work. Answer using Google Forms. So go to Google Forms, and you can play that way. You sign up at is.gd slash register for on air. That's going to be in your chat. So find that in your chat, guys, and you can sign up that way. You're going to have 10 questions in the regular round format. The easiest question, so that's the one that most teams get correct, is worth 10 points. The next easiest is worth 9 points. We're going to do it that way so it's more fun, so on and so forth. Next up, we're going to have a mystery round and list 5 final question type at the end. It's a different kind of final, but a really fun final kind of final question. You'll enjoy it, guys. Uh, you're going to submit your answer for questions 1 through 10 right here at is.gd slash answers. So get on there, guys, and you can submit your answers. Remember, don't cheat. There's no high stakes here. Just have fun with it. These are your categories, guys. Number one is going to be before they were stars. I'll never be a star, so I guess I'll always be before they're stars, or maybe that doesn't make sense. Category number two will be logos. Logos is number two. Number three, states. Uh, there are 50 states. Some would argue there are 51 states. Be number three. Number four is presidents. Presidents will be number four. Number five, uh-oh, villains. Villains will be number five. Who could that be? Number six will be one of your favorites. Number one hits. That's going to be music. Number one hits. I love music. I'm assuming you do too. Number seven is going to be flags. Will that be state flags? Country's flags? What kind of flags is that, guys? Number eight is going to be family. I hope you guys are all safe and your family is okay. We're all one big giant family here at Sporkle. Number nine is going to be something that no one does anymore, except for you. Read books. No one reads books anymore, right? Books is number nine. And number 10 will be what you're on right now on YouTube. Websites. Websites will be number 10. Wow. I'm excited, guys. Here is question number one. Look into those beautiful blue eyes to this young man here. This photo is an early headshot of what celebrity? Look right into his beautiful blue eyes. This photo is an early headshot of what celebrity? We're going to give you guys 60 seconds. Hmm. Good luck.
Hey guys, how you doing? Just so you guys know, you probably didn't know. Maybe I should have said something. Do not answer in the chat. It's okay if you did for this one. You know, it's okay. But remember, you're going to answer on those uh, on those Google Forms, guys. Make sure you you, you look for that way to, uh, to sign up, which will be in the chat. Remember, no answers in the chat. So, again, this photo is an early headshot of what celebrity? The answer is... That's right, Suzanne. You were correct. Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Baldwin. Look how beautiful that young man is. He is from the state of New York, if I'm not mistaken. He's got many, many famous brothers, all good looking and talented, if we're all that lucky. We're going to move on to question number two, guys. Look at that weird pixelated thing there. It looks like a Nintendo, Nintendo thing we got going on there. This is the pixelated logo of which NHL team? NHL means National Hockey League. Remember, never answer in the chat. This is the pixelated logo, kind of Nintendo Sega Genesis logo of what NHL team? Dis discuss. 60 seconds. That is correct, Suzanne. That's, you're doing the correct thing. Good job, Suzanne. Hey, hey, I hear you. I'm not very tech savvy either. Suzanne said, sorry, can't find Google Forms. I'm so not tech savvy. Neither am I. You'd be surprised when they hired me here at Sporkle. They had to like sit me down for like a full year straight, eight hours a day just to teach me how to type. So. All right, guys, we're back. 14 seconds. Get those answers in before we run out of time. This is the pixelated logo of which NHL team? Hmm. Well, your answer is... Huh. The Carolina Hurricanes. Wow. Now, the Carolina Hurricanes used to be a different team. I think they used to be the Hartford Whalers. Wow. That was one of my favorite teams, even though I've never played hockey in my life. Yes. Good job, guys. Moving ahead to question number three. Wow, who doesn't love states? Which of the following U.S. states is largest by total area? Name the state. So you're not going to name, name all three states you see. Look at these three states. Figure out which state is which, first of all. Then, which of the following of these states is the largest by total area? Not population, by total area. You're going to name that state. You got 60 seconds. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mark, that's right. I, I have fought a grizzly bear with my bare hands, and I did win. But the grizzly bear was uh, tranquilized at the time, uh, thanks to uh, Joe Exotic. So that is, uh, that's a true statement, Mark. Thank you. And I do love you. I do love you, Mark. You're fantastic. He knew that story, but he didn't want to say that Joe Exotic helped out there because Joe Exotic is a bit of uh, an enigma. Oh, wow. We're getting close, guys. Hey, we've got uh, 13, uh, lucky 13 seconds to get those answers in. Hey, I was number 13 when I played baseball. I first started playing baseball, and they said, I'm bad news. I'm bad news. I uh, didn't know what that meant, but they gave me number 13. All right, guys, so which of the following U.S. states is largest by total area? The answer is Missouri. Oh, yeah, the first state there was Wisconsin. The second state there was Missouri, and that fourth state, I think that was Arkansas. Uh, but, yes, I love Missouri. Kansas City is one of my favorite cities been to Arrowhead multiple times. All right, guys, question number four. Wow, look at that. Holy moly. Within the last 40 years, so within the last 40 years, who became U.S. president based on this electoral college map? Take a look at that. Of course, we have two of the, two of the best states there with 21 and 18. That's uh, Ohio and Michigan. We got, we got some other good states there, Texas, Florida. All right, guys, so take a look at that map within the last 40 years. Not the history of the United States. Last 40 years, who became U.S. president based on this map? 60 seconds. Good luck.
Wow, look at all that blue and red. Blue and red makes purple, guys. Blue and red makes purple. Hmm. Oh! Oh, Scott, so you fought a teddy bear and barely won. Hey, I've been there. I've been there. My, my bear was a grizzly bear, thanks to uh, Joe Exotic there. All right, guys, so we got 10 seconds to get those answers in. Hmm, look at that map. Red and blue makes purple. Within the last 40 years, who became U.S. president based on this map of the Electoral College? The answer is your favorite, Bill Clinton from Arkansas, also known as Arkansas. But here, you know, here in the Midwest, it's, well, no, it's not really known as Arkansas, but just with me. So, question number five. Wow, look at that picture. Question number five, guys. Look at that beautiful bald man, because yes, I'm bald too, with that beautiful goatee holding that poor innocent stuffed animal bunny rabbit. This is the villain. This is the villain in what 1990s movie. Now remember, I don't want the actor. I don't want the villain's name. I want you to give me the name of the 1990s film that this villain is in. It's a little snapshot from that movie. Think about it. Put your 90s thinking caps on. You got 60 seconds. A discuss. Well, Tyler, uh, I love playing baseball. I'm pretty good at hitting from the right side and the left side. But when it comes to dingers, I had one inside the park home run because the center fielder misplayed the ball. And yes, I am extremely fast, if you were wondering. I have more power now. I have more power now. I'm, I'm heavier in a good way. All right, guys, you got 14 seconds to get those answers in. Heavier in a good way. Heavier in a good way. All right. I don't call them pounds. I call them sexies. 200 sexies I am right now. All right. So, guys, this is the villain in what 1990s movie? The answer is... Woo! Con Air! What a guilty pleasure that movie is. All right, guys, extra credit. You can put it in the chat. Give me the name of the actor that's holding that weapon and give me the name of the character. Go ahead, shoot it out. Shoot it out. Give it to me. Woo! Type, type, type. Type faster than me. While you're typing, guys, we do special events virtually so you can stay safe. Mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, everybody uh, you know at your uh, work can stay safe. Uh, hey, guys, we do fundraisers. We do corporate events. You know, get everybody at the job together. Private parties at home. Uh, team building. So if you work for a company, you work for Subway, you know, if you're if you're a sandwich artist, get everybody together on Zoom. We'll host a show for you guys and other different ways we can host for you, man. Just hire us. Hire me, Reed Rockwell. All you guys got to do is go to SporkleLive.com slash events. And that is a forward slash because no one really does backward slashes because that's creepy. So now... YouTube guys, hey, by the way, guys, while you're watching this video, give me a second and I want you to like the video. So as they say, like the kids, I always watch those, uh, you know, shoe YouTubers, because I, I love sneakers. They say, smash that like button, smash the like button. Most important thing though, is you need to subscribe to this channel because we need more subscribers. Do it now. Hey, tell your friends if you had a good time, share the video, share this video with mom and dad or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or both. Hop on tomorrow. We're going to have more trivia. It's going to be a Disney show. Disney-themed show tomorrow night, guys, at 7 o'clock. Make sure you subscribe. Rachel and Bradley are going to do that show. Rachel and Bradley, we all love you. Rachel and Bradley. And make sure you hit that uh, you know, notification bell so that way you know when new videos pop up. So make sure you're liking the video, subscribing, hitting the no notification bell. Be here tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Bradley and the wonderful Rachel. Disney, 7 o'clock tomorrow night, guys. We're going to move ahead to the next question, number six. Look at those two beautiful people. Wow. I wish as, I wish I was that beautiful. These two artists, now remember, not, we're not looking for the artists here. These two artists collaborated on what Billboard Hot 100 number one hit? Not the artists looking for the song. Again, guys, 
These two artists collaborated on what Billboard Hot 100 number one hit song? Discs. By the way, guys, yes, uh, you were correct on that Con Air question. Malkovich is the actor, and Cyrus the Virus would be the character. So you guys are fantastic. You guys are nerdy, but in the most beautiful way possible. I've seen Revenge of the Nerds. I've seen Revenge of the Nerds. I know what you guys are capable of. All right, guys, these two artists collaborated on what Billboard Hot 100 number one hit. You've got 10 seconds to get your answers in before that alarm clock goes off, and it does get a little scary when it goes off. Sometimes when I set an alarm and my alarm goes off, I think I'm late for school. Wow, that's frightening, because I haven't gone to school in a long time. Are you ready? The answer to this question is, drum roll please, Timber! Wow. You know, I've been hosting for Spork Alive since 2013, and I've done 1,914 shows, and I think I've played that song a million times, especially in like 2014. Everybody wanted to hear that song, Timber. Good jam. I definitely approve of that jam. All right, guys, question number seven. Wow, look at that. The Stars and Stripes. In what decade was this specific flag introduced? I want you to look at it. I'm not going to tell you how you can know. Okay, this is like a civics question, guys. Social studies. In what decade, not year, in what decade was this flag introduced? Look at that flag. Do not answer in the chat. Discuss. 60 seconds, guys. Look at that flag. Isn't it beautiful? Red, white, and blue. And if you're colorblind, it would be gray, white. So that's fantastic. I had, a, I had a colorblind friend years ago, and he always wore black and blue, and he thought he was wearing black and gray. Hmm. For those colorblind people, I apologize. Question number seven, guys. We got 10 seconds to get those answers in. In what decade was this specific flag introduced to the public, the paying public, if you wanted to buy one of these flags. The answer is the decade would be the 1910s. Wow. Holy moly, the 1910s. The Roaring Tens. Isn't that how it goes? No, that doesn't sound right. The, uh, the Tens, guys. One of my favorite decades. All right, question number eight. What is the familial, which is a fun word to say, relationship between these two TV characters. Example, are, are those two father and son? That would be fun. Again, guys, take a look at these two pictures of these fine looking human beings. What is the familiar relationship between these two TV characters? Not the show characters. What is their familiar relationship? 60 seconds. Good luck. Oh, Dan H., look at that. Look at that comment. You are something else. Wow. Comedy. I love you guys. You guys are hilarious. Reed Rockwell once collaborated on a Billboard Top 40 hit with Kesha. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, Mark. Stop telling my entire, like... Man, you're giving, them my, you're giving them everything tonight. I try to keep some things under wraps, but Mark's giving them everything. Yes, and Kesha and I did date for a day, and she did beat me up. So uh, I cannot hold my own. With grizzly bears, I can, though. 10 seconds. Get those answers in, guys. Oh, Kesha. One heck of a singer. She's got freckles, by the way. So do I. All right, guys. What is the familiar relationship between these two TV characters? Well, the answer is mother-in-law and son-in-law. Son-in-law, 1993. Pauly Shore, The Grindage, buddy. What a fantastic movie. What a segue. So, question number nine, guys. What actress is the book author of this book? I said, I said too many words there. What actress is the author of this book? Well, look at this young lady here. 
Let's look at this young lady. Okay, what actress is the author of this book? Is it this person on the cover? I don't know. You tell me. Discuss. I don't know. Is it, is it that young lady? I don't know. Coffee Talk. Remember Coffee Talk, guys, from Saturday Night Live? Oh, my gosh. Love that. I love that segment, Coffee Talk. Yeah, what's your favorite Saturday Night Live uh, segment, guys? I don't care how old you are. Show your age. What was your favorite SNL sketch? Give it to me. Was it too hot in the hot tub? I don't know. Was it? Let me know. By the way, guys, what actress is the author of this book? Look at that. Look at that, young lady. Hmm. I don't know. Is it her? Is it somebody else? You got 10 seconds. Get that answer in, guys. Get it in. We got five seconds. Okay, what actress is the author of this book? Here's your answer, guys. Drum roll. Jenny Garth. Jenny Garth from... Beverly Hills 90210. By the way, guys, side side note here on, on Beverly Hills 90210, it was Br Brenda and Brandon. Brandon? What what state were they from when they moved to Beverly Hills? What state were those two from when that premiered in 1991? Brenda and Brandon or Brendan. Tell me, correct me. What what state were they from before they moved to California? 90210. <laughs> Minnesota is right! Booyah! We can end the show now. Good job, guys. Question number 10. Okay. This is a portion of the homepage of what website? So it's been kind of like cut down so you can't see everything here. This is a portion of the homepage of what website? Give me the website, guys. You got 60 seconds. Discuss. Brandon Walsh. Minnesota. Scott, you might be a nerd, but you know what? Nerds are awesome. C's might get degrees, but nerds run the world. Isn't that right? Amazon, Microsoft, <sighs> Sporkle. This is a portion of the homepage of what website, guys? Let's take a look at that. Have you ever used that website? I know I never have. I use the yellow pages. This is a portion of the homepage of what website? You got 10 seconds to get those answers in, guys. Not in the chat, by the way. We don't want to do that. Oh, your favorite Saturday Night Live sketches. What, what would that be? Oh, the census taker walking. Oh, that, that's a good one. I like that one. More cowbell. All right, guys. This is a portion of the homepage of what website? What's that answer? Zillow. Wow, that's how you find houses and apartments and condominiums, places to live. So yes, Zillow, that's the correct answer. Hey guys, Sporkle Party. If you don't know what Sporkle Party is, it is an app. It's an app that you can download to your phone from Apple Store or Google Play that's absolutely free. And you can play Sporkle like you do in the bars and on Zoom virtually at home. It's very similar to those two styles. But it's really fun because you don't have to pay for me or anybody else or go to a bar or a restaurant. Now, we want you to do all those things. But when it's like, you know, say it's Sunday at 7 o'clock at night and you can't leave, can't leave the house, you don't want to do you don't want to do like a Zoom virtual show, get that. Do, get, I want you to do that app today before the end of the show or right at the end. Download Sporkle Party. By the way, guys, is.gd slash Sporkle MR. That's where you need to be. That's where you need to be if you want to, uh, you know, play along. What's that MR stand for, guys? All right, guys. Mystery round. That's how. That's what MR stands for. Come on. The the visual mystery round before and after. Now listen. I've got a lot of people that are playing right now that I know and are gonna watch this afterwards that absolutely love or despise before and after. So hey. Let's have fun with that. You'll combine the names of each pair. Okay? Combine the names of each pair of pictured people to create a single answer. So you're not going to have one answer, space, one answer. You're going to have one flowing answer that's either going to connect on a syllable, on a word, but you need to be creative. You need to think very fun and out of the box. Okay, guys? 
Combine the names of each pair of pictured people to create a single answer. Say that three times fast. It's hard. Hey guys, good luck with this one. Look at these beautiful people. We got row one, handsome man, handsome lady. We got row two, looks like a race car driver and a beautifully bald man, amazing. Row three, beautiful man in his tracksuit and a young lady. And in the fourth row, we got two beautiful young men. What can you, what else can you say, guys? Everyone's gorgeous. You got 60 seconds to get these answers in. And remember, do not answer in the chat. But we love you anyway. Door the Explorer, I'm talking to my screen. Sarah Crawford. Yes. Door the Explorer. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? She's not hanging out with Dora. Who's better, Dora or Carmen San Diego? You tell me. Which one's better? Who has a doo wop? Who has a doo wop group? Who has a doo wop group singing songs? That's all I got to say about that. Hey guys, you got a, you know, a few more seconds, a few more seconds to get these answers in. Really think about it. Use your brains. Be creative. It's okay if you don't know. No one's judging you. All right, guys, look at these. Look at these people before and after. Let's get into some of these. You got five seconds to get those answers in. All right, so here we go. Man, that, that buzzer gets me every time. All right, guys. The first one. Raul Julia Louis, Louis Dreyfus. Julie, wow. Raul Julia Louis Dreyfus. Man, that's too much for me. Number two, Danica Patrick Stewart. Amazing. Number three, Tracy Morgan Fairchild. That one was a little easier. I could have gotten that one. And then the fourth one, guys. Tom Everett Scott Bayo. Wow, that man, I couldn't I wouldn't have gotten the first fella. But Charles is in charge, I think. So yeah. Let me do the first one again. Raul Julia Louis. Is it Louis or Louis Dreyfus? Oh, Louise. Raul Julia Louise Dreyfus. That's funny because my daughter's middle name is Louise. Hi, Billy Louise. I love you. Billy Louise. Wow. Man, reading is fundamental. All right, guys, so the final question is going to be a little different. It's going to be called List 5. So what you're going to do here is this question has five answers. Now, this is the key thing here. You'll earn three points for every correct answer. But if you list a wrong answer, it's negative three. And if you write down nothing, it's zero. Again, there's five possible answers. You don't have to write down all five. Okay, if you give a wrong answer, we're going to deduct three points. If you give a correct answer, we're going to give you three points. If you write down nothing, you get zero. So really think about it, okay? Be smart. Choose wisely. He has chosen wisely. Is from what movie? He has chosen wisely. All right, guys, here is this question. Name the pictured TV shows that have been nominated for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Competition Program but never won. Okay. Ready, guys? Here's your final question. This is for all the kitten caboodles. This is for all the money. Name the picture TV shows that have been nominated, nominated for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Competition Program, but never won. 60 seconds, good luck. He has chosen poorly. Can't believe nobody knows that movie. He has chosen wisely. Come on, nerds. Look at those pictures, guys. Look at those pictures. Hmm. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Crafty Bones. You win. You have won the game. You win one million Monopoly monies. 
which would be pretty sweet. When I was a kid, even to this day, if I had like Monopoly monies, I'm like, dude, this is sweet. Look at all these monies I got. You got 10 seconds to get those answers in, guys. Name the picture TV shows that have been nominated for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Competition Program, but never won. But before we go to the answer, guys, we have something really cool we want to talk about. Again, we're one big giant trivia family. In our family, we have Sporkle Live, which is what you're playing now, which is what I do for a living. We've got Stump. Stump Trivia, right out of Boston. They're all over the place. We love Stump, and we love our opinionation people, guys. It's all going to be online. Go to sporkle.com slash virtual. Go play a game. I'm playing a game. Like I'm hosting a game Wednesday. I'm hosting a game on Friday. We got games all over because there's going to be a game right after me. Go spend five bucks. Go play. Play play all the time. Go. Just go play trivia. Go play with your friends. Play, play with mom. Play with your sons and daughters. Play with everybody. All right, guys, we're back. Here we go. Here are the final answers to this final question to end our game. American Idol. Is that Lambert, right? Lambert. Project Runway. Oh, the next one. So you think you can dance. I'm a bit average on that one. The Apprentice in the final will be nailed it. Nailed it, everybody. We nailed this game. We nailed it, guys. We did such a fantastic job. Everybody's having so much fun in the chat. Beat you at Monopoly anyway. Yeah, you probably would beat me at Monopoly. Hey, guys, don't forget. Listen, before you, like, even log off, go to Apple Store, right? Go to Google Play. Download Sporkle Party. It's free. Play Sporkle with friends and family, guys. Make sure you do that. Now, don't forget, I'm hosting a show this Wednesday. I'm hosting a show this, uh, this Friday. Everybody's going to be hosting shows. Don't forget, guys, like this video that you're watching right now. Tell me you've liked it in the chat. Say, I've liked it, I've liked it, I've liked it. Like, 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 like the video, right? Then go subscribe to the channel and then ding that notification bell so you always know when there's a new video. It'll bing, bing, bing on your phone or on your laptop. Tell your friends to come back tomorrow at 7 o'clock for Disney Trivia with Brandon and Rachel, guys. 7 o'clock tomorrow, Disney Trivia. Listen, I'm going to dedicate this show to my beautiful three-year-old daughter, Billy Louise. Daddy loves you very much. She'll watch this at some point. I'm going to dedicate this to everybody in our family with Spork Alive, Stump, and Opinionation. I'm going to dedicate it to you guys. We here at Spork Alive love you very much. We want you to be safe. We want you to be healthy. And we're going to see you again. Have fun. Learn. Have some diversions. Have a fantastic night. We'll see you back here tomorrow, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>